easily take a, a turn for the worse. But I was, I was lucky. I got a lot of second chances, and I had the opportunity to go to college and law school and follow my dreams. My wife, our first lady, Michelle Obama, she has a similar story. Neither of her parents had gone to college, and they didn't have a lot of money. But they worked hard, and she worked hard, so that she could go to the best schools in this country. Some of you might not have those advantages. Maybe you don't have adults in your life who give you the support that you need. Maybe someone in your family has lost their job, and there's not enough money to go around. Maybe you live in a neighborhood where you don't feel safe. Or have friends who are pressuring you to do things you know aren't right. But at the end of the day, the circumstances of your life, what you look like, where you come from, how much money you have, what you've got going on at home, none of that is an excuse for neglecting your homework or having a bad attitude in school. Yasmin didn't speak English when she first started school. Neither of her parents had gone to college. But she worked hard, earned good grades, and got a scholarship to Brown University and now in graduate school studying public health on her way to becoming Dr. Jasmine Perez. I'm thinking about Andoni Schultz from Los Altos, California, who's fought brain cancer since he was three. He's had to endure all sorts of treatments and surgeries, one of which affected his memory, so it took him much longer, hundreds of extra hours, to do his schoolwork. But he never fell behind. He's headed to college this fall. And then there's Chantel C. from my hometown of Chicago, Illinois. Spend more time studying. No one's born being good at all times. <coughs> you become good at things through hard work. If you're not a varsity athlete the first time you play a new sport. You don't hit every note the first time you sing a song. You've got to practice. The same principle applies to your schoolwork. You might have to do a math problem a few times before you get it right. You might have to read something a few times before you understand it. You definitely have to do a few drafts of a paper before it's good enough to hand in. Don't be afraid to ask questions. If you feel like other people have given up on you, don't ever give up on yourself. Because when you give up on yourself, you give up on your country. The story of America isn't about people who quit when things got tough. It's about people who kept going, who tried harder, who loved their country too much to do anything less than their best. The story of students... If, you, if something happens, if you fail, keep trying. Because eventually you're going to succeed, right? Making mistakes teaches us how to do it right the next time. Ryan? We have to take responsibility in our lives and our goals and our schoolwork and set goals for ourselves so we can do better in school. It's important, right? We don't have goals set. How are we going to accomplish them? We've got to set our goals and know what we want and go after it. And Sean? We have to study more and make sure we get all grades and pass and make sure we like studying stuff like the tax tips and things like that. And like to keep little basketball and track practice a lot, like running. calling on teachers. Did he, was he, did he say any specific things to teachers? What's he asked the teachers to do? What about, what about, uh, when he said, if you quit on school, you're not just quitting on yourself, you're quitting on your country. I like that too, and I believe that. Right? You saw me on? I probably said asking for help isn't a sign of weakness, it's a sign of strength.